The Sierras in winter are perfect for skiing, boarding, sledding, and snowmobiling. And to enjoy our mountains at a more relaxed pace, walking, actually snowshoeing, is the way to go. And that's why we're here at Reno Mountain Sports to prep for our day on the mountain. Hey there. Hello. Hi, you guys. Good, we need snowshoe gear. Oh, beautiful. I could help you out with that. We met with John, who set us up with some gear and gave us a little advice. Mount Rose Meadows, great place for snowshoes. Um, most people coming into our store actually are heading up to the meadows. Uh, beautiful views of the lake, um, great terrain, awesome place for both snowshoes and cross-country skiing. And so we headed to the meadows of Mount Rose for a glimpse of Lake Tahoe. Now this is what I call getting in touch with nature. Just you, your gear, and these cute little birdies. Come here, birdie. Wow, have I worked up an appetite. <laughs> Is that my lunch? Um, well, it's part of your lunch, but don't worry, there's more in the bag. <laughs> I'm hungry. Well, you have um, to try this. Look at David. Well, it's cute, but I'm still hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea to pack some essentials, apparently including some extra food, whenever going into the backcountry, and make sure to get some advice and always set a plan. Snowshoes are, are pretty simple, really. They're just uh, sizes of snowshoes, and that's going to be based on the, the uh, participant's weight. Um, and the snow conditions. So really there's probably only about two sizes of shoes, small and large, and then of course shoes for the kids. Well, we're finally here. We are. Look at the view. You know, I loved the hike up, uh -huh. but this makes it all worthwhile. Definitely. Here in America's Adventure Place, there are plenty of places you can head out on your own. There also are a number of resorts where you can go snowshoeing and join a guided tour as well. In Squaw Creek, you can enjoy the beautiful meadow or for a more adventurous terrain, head into the backcountry of Squaw Valley itself. We have um, a great scenery here in the valley. Uh, starting at the Nordic Center, as soon as you walk out the door, you open up the Squaw Valley, the mountain, and, and the, uh, the surrounding areas. It's just beautiful. So um, the people have access to all the, all the trails here in the valley, and then we also encourage them to go up into the trees and, and play around in the powder and pack their own trails for a little bit as well in the snowshoes. As David and I were already heading to North Star next, we decided to try a little snowshoeing before putting on the skis. Something nice, isn't it? Such a nice day out. With well-groomed trails and, of course, warming huts along the way, snowshoeing in a resort setting is a great way to be introduced to the sport. Anytime you go to a resort, you kind of have one image of your mind that it's going to be, you know, a fast-paced, crowded experience. And a lot of people are really pleased to find out that the Nordic experience is very different, that it's uh, more like hiking and an outdoor forest experience. You know, my favorite part is the warming huts with the hot chocolate and the hot tea. I oh, love that. me too. But, you know, I also like that they have lessons and guided tours. Oh, uh, of course. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's keep going. Oh, yeah. We have uh, full moon tours given at nighttime under full moon light. We have a giant bonfire going. We entertain people with um, the natural environment, a discussion about the wildlife that lives around the area, uh, some live music. It's really fun. This is a perfect day to be doing this. It really is. But you know, the best part is we're already up on the mountain. Uh -huh. So what do you say we switch out our gear and get a few runs in before the end of the day? I think that sounds good. good. And when we return, we'll hit the slopes and we'll check and see how George is doing on those more advanced runs. Let's go 